2005 rings in at home for the Mavericks. A look to pick up where 2004 concluded with Jason Terry working his magic with Eric Dampier. Damp and Dallas go after win number 20 tonight on Red Alert as they oppose young explosive bucks Michael Red and Waxahachie's Desmond Mason. The Mavs meet Milwaukee next on Fox Sports Net. Well, this is a familiar sight for the Mavericks. They will not venture away from their home floor until January 13th. There are four games between now and then for the Mavericks at the American Airlines Center, where they stand nine and six, but they've won their last two on their home floor, and they have taken four of their last five, looking to build on the conclusion of 2004 as we venture into 2005. Don Nelson in his eighth season coaching the Mavericks, 27th overall, 11th season. His first 11 as a head coach came with the Milwaukee Bucks. He led them to six consecutive Central Division championships and to the postseason, nine of his 11 seasons in Milwaukee. Nelly has left quite a legacy. Coaching in the league for as long as he has. His starting lineup tonight, Jason Terry and Michael Finley, man, his backcourt. Josh Howard up front along with Dirk Nowitzki and Eric Dampier. Dirk sits third in the league in scoring, Bob, and 10th in rebound and continuing to build on what is a career season in year number six in the league. It's amazing how good a rebounder he has become, and he continues to shoot the three very well. There's one and a pull-up jump shot. He's one of five guys in the league to average 20-plus points and 10-plus rebounds. The other four, Shaquille O'Neal, Kevin Garnett, Tim Duncan, and Zach Randolph. Here can have a great effective time. You know, the irony in that SWAT triggering two in transition, the Bucks are dead last in the league in blocks, as Nowitzki was ridden on the elbow by Joe Smith and still delivered in the lane for his first deuce. And inspires the rest of his teammates to be able to get it done on the court. Nowitzki goes to the offensive glass. And Dirk, two of two, as he cashes in himself. Thanks, Terry, to save. Terry beats Nowitzki. Cha-ching, another Maverick money ball. Second of the night, and it was created on the dribble penetration by Jason Terry, often because Nowitzki flew at him. Michael Red one of his first five. Josh Howard, nobody stops him. He says, okay, I'll take two in the lane. Howard rebounds. Nowitzki was breaking out, but Smith retreated effectively. Howard's got his head up. He's looking, looking. He spins off the crossover, and Josh Howard twice has penetrated deep. The foul. Nowitzki off the inbound, but dunking Deutschman does his thing to the iron. He's four of five for nine points. How about the execution? On the inbounds to Dirk. This is exactly what four days of practice can get for you. Ch Jet Terry has the basketball. Now watch Dirk Nowitzki set the screen. Michael Red right now gets lost a little bit. There's an opening for Dirk. He goes right down the middle. He's supposed to read that play. Front by 10. Finley shakes his defense. Oh, and Eric Dimp here flies from the rafters and rocks the rack. Dimp here with the biggest flush since he joined Dallas. My goodness. Shooting percentage plummeting. It's now 6 of 21, 28%. Nowitzki finds Dampier two feet from the rim. And Eric Dampier just muscled God's a reach. Understand that, and he capitalizes on his strength. Lobbing to Damp over the top is Nowitzki. And Eric Dampier is doing a tap dance on the interior against the Bucks, who are defending. At age 21, went to Wauwatosa High School in the Milwaukee area, and then to the University of Wisconsin. Dirk Nowitzki continued. And Devin Harris says, I'll take that. Harris off the bounce, feeds Nowitzki, charging the rim with the left hand. Dirk doing it all, six of seven for 13 points. But it was it was a very good movie, and the young kid reminds me of. Oh, nice. Alan Henderson throwing it down with authority off the dish from Nowitzki. But watch the play now as you get to pick the screen. Dirk makes a nice pass. Henderson going right down the middle, just to beautify all those four days of rest I was talking about. Get a guy like that some rest and you got a better player. Here he goes again, this time drawing the foul on Joe Smith. Using the left hand again. And, and when you look at that list that I talked about earlier of guys in this league that average 20 plus points and 10 plus rebounds, there's only five of them. Shaquille O'Neal, Tim Duncan, Kevin Garnett, Dirk Nowitzki. I mean, think of those names. And then, of course, the fifth one is Zach Randolph at Portland. And he creates a steal there, just plucked it away from James. Stackhouse flying free, the basket and the foul. But you better take away the break. Well, beautiful steal by Jason Terry, but the pass, though, by Howard to be able to get to Stackhouse was the key right there to a Stackhouse is running out. That pass. But when you're a scorer, you definitely don't, right? I agree with you. 
And as a team, you need to know you're in the bonus. Nowitzki releases. And he uh, takes it home with a sledgehammer. Nowitzki putting on a little dunk show. That's his third tonight. Skilled. He's stronger than Larry Johnson, but he's not as skilled. There's a Howard good, for three. Good luck for Howard. The Mavericks have drilled four long rangers tonight. Nowhere in the vicinity on this Dirk dunk. The Mavericks have run effectively tonight, building a 13-point lead. The mismatch now. You got James on Dirk. Terry feeds the big man. Bucks have gone back man to man. Javinsky to the baseline. Fouled by James. Gods a reach. Bangs Dirk for good measure. Seven made threes against the Bucks. As a member of the, the guy has done against, you know, a lot of different people, not just against the team in the first half. Pfizer turns it over. Baseball pass over the top. Touchdown, Josh Howard. Touchdown. And Gill. Finley with a defensive play and an excellent pass to Howard. Pass, catch, finish. Played it against guys who reach. Nice separation. Nice separation. Dirk unable to get the roll at home. Howard keeps it alive and just takes it away. To sixth rebound at the buzzer. The Vinsky hits. And Josh Howard should get a big time assist on that. Just with sheer hustle. But Nowitzki's got 21 in the first half tonight. He has had 20 or more and a half now in three straight games. Going back to the Denver game, it was the second half where he had 23. He had 20 of his 29 the first half against Boston and 21 here against the Bucks. Look at that hustle by Howard. It's those kind of plays that really win close games for you. Dirk doing the brunt of the damage. The Mavericks all over the Bucks in front, 66-50. Really finding it. open teammates. Though. Yeah, let's take a look at tonight's Hummer highlights, and it's happening with a pass. Jason Terry, good movement away from the ball by Dampier. Once again, Terry, you got to draw and kick to Dirk Nowitzki. Draw the defense, kick the ball to the open man. Coming off a pick on a curl cut, Jerry Stackhouse gets all the way to the basket. Dirk Nowitzki on a nice pick and roll to Allen Henderson. Henderson with the finish on the last play of the first half. Michael Finley, a drawn kick, an open shot for Dirk Nowitzki. 21 points in the first half for Nowitzki. Leave short. Michael Red now 5 of 13 shooting tonight. Look at this. Howard going to take it all the way to the rim himself. And yes, Josh Howard can finger roll. Flexion inside. Initially, Finley got a piece. Nowitzki then tapped it to Terry. Dirk stop and pop, drops. Dirk not missing. Now 9 of 13 for 23 points. Timeout Bucks. Terry has ballooned to 22. Terry gets his sixth assist through Dirk on that trip. You guys are going to get old too, you know. I know, but that's why I have that treadmill in my house. Second time <laughs> of charm for Nowitzki. Shot clock down to five. Stackhouse beats Gill to the rim. Julia with it. The Remy Lightning striking outside the American Airlines Center tonight. The Thunder, though, coming off the right hand of Jerry Stackhouse late in that third quarter. As the Mavericks look to fend off the Young Bucks. 88-80. Dallas on top going to the fourth quarter. He's in the fourth. Nowitzki clogs the passing lane. Long lead to Howard. Two on one with Stackhouse. Howard will take it the distance. So back-to-back -back turnovers result in four quick points for the Mavericks. Mavericks starting the fourth period this way. Stackhouse with a defensive play. Dirk Nowitzki with a defensive play. Dirk Nowitzki defending the jump shot by Petulia. They start the quarter, three very good defensive plays. At the top of the show, we talked about the fact that that was one of the differences in this Mavericks team as compared with last year. You just had a good look at it. Can they separate themselves now from the Mason and Pfizer? Henderson pull up in and out. Howard is there to go now. Trying to pull the ball up from the holster on his right hip. Howard's free. Look at Josh Howard. Howard with a spike. And the Mavericks are up a Baker's dozen. He hammered that. Putting his signature on this one. The follow. Jump hook. And then the thunder. Milwaukee again to within 11. Concentration for Dallas. Most important right now. Nowitzki oh. splits a double. Banks it home. That's a three-time All-Star. He shed Petrulia on the top side and was able to swing by Pfizer, who was trying to stop him from the back.
Why is he the third best scorer in the NBA? There's one of the reasons. And you're about to see another the offense on the last possession. But because of James against Finley, he goes to Stackhouse on this possession. And it was called from the bench. Pfizer flies by Nowitzki before he delivers his 32nd or 33rd third. Two at the moment. Finley on the pick out in Stackhouse. Howard oh, climbing wow. for another board. And stick back and foul. Josh Howard continues to electrify the crowd at the American Airlines Center. Man, is he a seven-footer or what? No, he just plays like a seven-footer. Man. <laughs> 13 rebounds. I think Josh Howard gets some additional energy and inspiration from Santa at Christmas time. He's in against 10 losses. Josh Howard continuing to undress the butts and wheels in the miss. Spizer pinned by Nowitzki with a block. Stackhouse and Howard break out. That delivery, a tad late to Howard, but it doesn't matter as the defender flies by. Josh Howard now with 25 in a short period of time. Stackhouse. There's, there's a dunk. Oh, the reverse over the head. Now that's the stack of vintage highlight reel stuff. I, I'm going to I'm gonna tell you. I'm going to tell you. <laughs> oh. Now that was sweet. 21 points off those turnovers. Make it 24 as Nowitzki applies the finishing touches by drilling the three. Wendell all the way down to eight at one point, but Howard doing the damage on the boards and scoring, but Nowitzki now is a bucket away from another 40 point. Our Gatorade player of the game is Josh Howard. 11 of his 25 came in the fourth. Howard one point away from matching his career high. Also had 13 rebounds in this game for his ninth double-double of the season. And about Dirk Nowitzki's 39 tonight against the team that originally drafted him in 98. Mike James has 20 for the Bucks, but it will be in a losing cause as the Mavericks make it three in a row overall and three in a row at home. They've now won five of their last six for Don Nelson and sit 20 and 10 as of January 2nd of 2005. 123 104 the final tonight as Nowitzki's 39 lead all scores. Josh Howard a big night as well for the Mavericks. The Southwest Sports Report coming up next on FSN Southwest. Stay with us.